So what's up people and welcome to Car Mechanics Simulator 2018. So I want to spend this episode doing a quick run and finishing up this uh, Delray Custom. Uh, we basically finished building this but we still need to do the bodywork and the paintwork and the interiors as you can see here. Uh, so yeah, so let's take this back to the garage and then uh, let's go back there. Oh, yeah, uh, you remember this, the Tempest Magnum. Uh, we finished this up, and I still have to figure out what I want to do with it, whether I want to keep it or not. But anyway, that's for uh, something to do offline. And what I want to do is to finish up the Delray Custom, which is the car I really do want to keep. This does have this uh, kind of nostalgic uh, sort of uh, feeling to it and that's why I want to keep this car more than the uh, Tempest Magnum Okay, so we're back in the garage again as you can see there's still a lot of rust in it. So let's move this to one of the uh, Surface base so yeah, I put it in the middle one I don't really care which one I put it in and yeah uh, what we have to do is the interior uh, do the detailing as well as get rid of the rust and then we could paint this thing, I think. Uh, so let's move the detail toolkit uh, to the car. And uh, let's detail the car. Well, actually, uh, let me uh, say no to this and let's see if we could look inside the car and see how bad it is. I guess I can't get into the car. Okay, well. If that's the case, we might as well just detail it. I don't need a before shot. It's only a hundred bucks anyway, so it's always better to just go through the entire process. Okay, so um, now we have to get rid of all that rust in the bodywork. And uh, that's just a matter of paying a thousand bucks to this machine here. And bam, look at that. Look at that. I am a welder god. Well, maybe not, but uh, it makes you feel like one, this game. Okay, so everything should be looking pretty good. Yeah, you can see all the rust is gone even inside the uh, engine bay here. So, yeah, the welder works pretty well. And so now, uh, oh, before we do anything, let's take a look inside the car. Yeah, look at that. That's looking pretty good. We replaced most everything, I think, with new stuff. And so with that and the detailing, I think we basically cleaned everything out. Oh, I forgot the bumper. I Not the bumper, the uh, license plate. So I need to get the license plate from here. I think we had one, or this car had one when we got it, so we might as well use that license plate. There we go. And I don't think I have another one. No, I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna have to buy one. But let me put this on here. Huh? Can't seem to put it on. What's going on? I have it here. So let me try again. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Assemble mode. There we go. What? What's going on? I can't seem to put it on. Usually that uh, circle comes up and then you could attach things. Uh, okay. Uh, why is this not working? there oh wait uh, I guess it's not fully fixed it's not completely a hundred percent green can I fix this thing I guess not okay well I guess I'll use it anyway since it's still green okay so attached to the back it didn't attach to the front that was very strange maybe it was attached to the back when I bought the car but I thought license plates were uh, kind of interchangeable between the back and the front. So uh, let me get one of these plain old license plates since I don't particularly need it to be for any state. And uh, let's get back and put it on. Oh, but wait, uh, 
I downloaded license plate uh, holders or whatever you call those things. You know, those borders. And I thought I would have them. Those are kind of uh, mod developed uh, license plate frames. But I don't know where they are supposed to be. Uh, are they in here? I'm not sure. Let's take a look one more time. Uh, where are they? I don't see anything. Uh, okay, uh, well, I guess I'm going to have to take a look around and figure this out. Maybe it's in the, in the regular body spot. I don't think so because this would be a uh, mod developed, not a standard item in the game. No, this is just in performance parts or performance body things or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm not going to waste too much more time. Let's just put the uh, lysis on without any frame. Oh, this time it worked. Okay. Okay, so now we should be looking pretty darn good. And uh, I think the only thing left is to paint the car so let's move this car to the paint bay and let's get her all prettied up okay I'm not gonna smash my face in the door this time I'll try not to and so yeah okay this is looking good uh, I hope I don't paint over the chrome uh, I hope this uh, paint software works without having to paint the chrome okay so I guess that's the wow that's the factory default color, the yellow. I'm not really into a yellow car. It looks too much like a New York cab, so, or the old style New York cabs. Uh, wow, look at that green. Whoa, look at that blue. Oh, this looks nice. Purple looks pretty cool. Wow, look at that pink. Oh, the red. Wow, look at that red. That looks pretty cool. Oh, I guess this comes with a library. Oh, look at that. Sunset car. Oh, look at that. Well, if that's going to be the... Wow, this one looks pretty good. This looks good. Yeah, I want this one. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so purple is not your standard color, but with this library. Man, this looks good. Okay. Okay. Um, so what's left? Uh, the mat looks okay. I think the pearl looks better. Yep. And what does the chameleon look like? Whoa, look at that. It kind of changes the color of the car. I think I'll go with a pearl. What do you think? Let's go with the pearl. Yeah. Okay, so we're done. We're done. This car's done. And it's looking beautiful, at least from uh, from my perspective. Yeah, this one looks really nice. I really like this car. Uh, can I get in here? Can I get in here? Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that. Look at that. This is a nice looking car. Yeah, I want to keep this one. This is just too pretty a car to uh, sell. Of course, if my garage becomes completely full eventually, I may have to sell one of these. Okay, so let's keep on going. The next thing, of course, is to take it on a test drive. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, this car pops. Look at those colors. Wow. Although maybe uh, this car will look good with one of those low riders, you know, and then have this car go up and down, up and down while you're driving down the uh, city roads. But uh, I think I'll keep this classic. Yeah, this car. Sorry, I'm just taking more uh, shots of this car for thumbnail purposes. I always need to do this for thumbnail purposes.
So I hope you don't mind. I'm going to spend a few shots trying to figure out what I want to do. Okay. Okay, so let's take it to the airport as we always do. There we go. And let's see how this car fares. I think this car is faster than the uh, other car, the uh, Tempest Magnum. The last time we drove it, it felt faster. So let's see. Here we go. Okay, uh, I always have to figure out how to get out of the car. Uh, no, there we go. Oh, we're moving backwards. Wow, this looks pretty cool. Okay, if I could get this camera work to... Okay, no, 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 no! Ah! Ah! Okay, wow. I almost ran over myself. Wow, okay, get, get... No, I don't want to be in the car. There we go. This is what I wanted. And let's try not to crash it into the wall right from the start. Whoa, fishtail. Whoa. Wow, this car has some wild uh, suspension. Uh, it's definitely faster than the Tempest Magnum. And down the straightaway feels really good, but... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 get away, get away. Uh, slow this car down, wow. Yeah, it feels, I don't know how to say this. I don't know if it's understeering, I don't know if it's sloppy, I mean, uh, soft suspension, but you uh, press the direction button, you know, your WASD, and it's like a few seconds, wow! Wow, that was painful. I know you don't feel anything, but that was painful. Yeah, the, uh, anyways, yeah, you press the button and it feels like it takes a few seconds to, uh, react. And then when you take the, your finger off the button, it's still turning. It's a weird feeling. I don't know what it is. It's like a delay, almost. Whoa! I have no, whoa! Man, I feel like, well, you know one of those comedy movies where they're trying to make do a driver's lesson and eventually the driving instructor like runs out of the car because you're ready to, you're almost ready to kill him or something like that. Whoa, whoa. It's definitely fast. If I was going to tune this car up, I definitely won't spend any money on the uh, engine. I would rather spend it on the suspension. Wow. I really like the way this car handled the, I mean, ran the last time. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm just driving it fast. Oh, maybe, be, no, we didn't. We fixed up the car and then we test drove it the last time too. So it should be the same. Okay, let me slow this down. Now I think we're done. Let me take a few shots while we're out here. Just in case I want to take a thumbnail from here. Yeah, this car is pretty. I really like this car. This car is really, really pretty. Man, I would like to see this car in real life. I bet it would look beautiful. Of course, I wouldn't be able to drive it because I would be smashing it against other cars if I did this in a real street. Okay, let's try it one more time. Let's see. This time I'm gonna be in the car. Wow, it's scarier when you're in the car. Wow. I thought it was bad enough when you were outside. Of Whoa. <laughs> oh, man, you feel everything more when you're in the car. Okay. Can I get it into the... Uh, can I get it out of here? Well, definitely, uh, this car can take a beating now. That's for sure. I think I'm done. I think I'm done. So let's uh, take it back to the garage. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, so... 
I think uh, we did a good job, I think, restoring it. Uh, I am still trying to figure out how to drive all these cars. I'm getting better as a mechanic, but I'm still terrible as a driver. That's for sure. Yeah, this car looks beautiful. Okay, uh, let's... Uh, let me take uh, one last look at the car, maybe for thumbnails, uh, before we put her away into the parking. I just can't seem to get a good shot without getting that yellow annoying border. Uh, maybe I could somehow choose one of these that gets rid of the border or won't. No, that's not it. Uh, I don't think any of these are it. I don't know if there's a way I can do this. I was able to do it before. I can't figure out why I can't do this anymore. And uh, get rid of the yellow borders. Oh! Well, that's interesting. Maybe if you stay away far enough, then it won't give you the yellow borders. Well, okay. Uh, this shot looks pretty good. Oh! I got the yellow borders again. Okay. Yeah, maybe it is uh, kind of a distance related. I'm not sure. Okay. There. Okay, well that was pretty cool. So we got both cars uh, restored. I may sell the Tempest Magnum eventually, but I'll keep the Delray Custom. Which of course means that I need to find more cars. So let's go car hunting. Okay, are we gonna... Any day now. There we go. Okay. Yeah, how come we always spawn in these like really tight areas of the barn? Hmm, some more used parts. Should I get these things? Uh, maybe the mechanical ones. Yeah, I don't think I want the body things or the... I don't think I could fix the body things, so... I think that will be useless. Oh, there is a car here, but let me just take a look at some of these parts. Okay, yeah. Um, most of these things are, like this one is green, but it's so car specific that, uh, whoa! Whoa, it's a bubble car! Hey, we found a bubble car! I think, whoa, I want to know what this car is. Let's see. Let's take a look at the. Oh, this looks like a. I forgot what the. What's it called? The Eldorado? No, not an Eldorado. I forgot what these were called. What the open back? Uh, is this a. Uh, I don't think this is a mod car. I think this one when it came. Uh, this one is from the game. But the bubble car is definitely a uh, mod car. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just taking a look around to see if there's anything. I want to take. Uh, I don't think so. No, not, not, no body things. I don't want a body thing because they're so car specific. If you don't find that car, I want more mechanical things. Oh, let's take that. That we always use. Oh, I forgot what they're called. Sway bar. Suspend. No, I forgot what they're called. Anyway. Uh, let's see. Oh. Wow. Let's take this. Yeah. I think I could fix those gearboxes. And those gearboxes are worth a lot if you can fix them. Whoa. Whoa. 9,300. Uh, $9,732. Okay. So this is a cheap one to buy. So a BMW Isetta. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, all the mod cars have uh, real car names to them. Uh, the game developed cars have these fake names, but uh, do I want this? Nah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's take this one as well. Wow, this is actually more expensive than the bubble car. Huh. I want to keep the bubble car and I think I'll take this mostly because of the fact that I think I could restore it and then sell it. 
which I think is actually more profitable than uh, doing all that service work. Okay, so we got two cars. Oh, and we got all these parts. Well, let's buy the parts as well. We got enough money. I don't think we're short on money, so... Yeah. So I think I know what we'll be doing. We'll be uh, fixing up those two cars over the next few episodes. Uh, I definitely want to keep the bubble car. And can you imagine what the bubble car is going to be like at that ab abandoned airport? Uh, that's going to be a scary scene. Wow, look at that thing. Wow, this is going to be a lot of fun to uh, fix this guy. This almost looks like a complete empty shell. Yeah, BMW Isetta. Yeah, I guess it's cheap because there's just not much in the car anymore. Oh, well, that's okay. I, I replace most everything anyway. At least in the body. Okay, so uh, this is a pretty nice Bolt Atlanta. Yeah, that, that definitely is not a real car name. Or a real car manufacturer name. And uh, let me see if I could fix this. Uh, maybe not. Did I fix it? Let me check. Yeah. Whoa, I fixed the gearbox. Okay, well, everything else. Uh, and one knuckle thing, suspension knuckle thing, or whatever they call that thing. Uh, so let's uh, put those two pieces away, and we can sell the other junk. Yep, okay, so, yeah, okay, well, that's, I think, uh, we're done with uh, this episode. We did pretty good. Oh, and by the way, yeah, as you know, uh, we have the uh, channel logo here in the banner now. Uh, if you want to see, there's, uh, we have that uh, other episode, the previous episode, where we did the uh, episode on how to make your channel banner or custom banner for the garage. Okay, anyway... Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching this. So we'll continue on. We'll fix one of these new cars. Now, uh, well, not new cars, but uh, newly acquired cars in the next episode. And I hope you join us at that time. If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below as always. And uh, we always appreciate your uh, watching of these videos. And I hope you, yeah, join us in our next adventures in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And until the next episode, happy restoration, and as always, giant nice day everyone.